Did you know Jesus could drink soy milk? Yeah, it's old. In fact, the first mention of soy milk is on this Eastern Han Dynasty tomb mural from about 25 AD. But now to the main point of this video. Is soy milk actually good for you or is it just a scam? Well, that depends on three main factors. First, if you are among the 68% of people that have some sort of lactose mole absorption, it suddenly makes way more sense to drink soy milk rather than dairy. The mole absorption, by the way, origins in that all human infants produce the enzyme lactase, which breaks up the milk sugar lactose. But as we grow up, our bodies naturally stop producing the enzyme and dairy products become undigestible. <laughs> some humans, though, mainly in in Europe and North America evolved to produce lactase for their whole life, but the rest of the world didn't. So here they drink cow juice, but here the plant-based alternatives are more appropriate. Of course, this is an oversimplified explanation, but you get the point. And if you are a man, as most of my channel viewers are, you might not want to chuck gallons of cow milk as it contains pretty high doses of estrogen. Now, that might seem just like, yeah, whatever, but let me elaborate. So, man's main hormone is testosterone. If a man has high levels of testosterone, it's easier for him to to build muscle, burn fat and maintain his body. Simply put, testosterone is the key hormone that will make you healthy and increase sex drive. And who wouldn't want that? On the other side, estrogen is the main female hormone and it's for example responsible for fat deposition so that women have more energy to bear children. But as a man, you don't need to bear children and you don't need any fat deposition. So if you have these and this, you might have higher estrogen levels in your blood than what's good for your health. And hence, you might wanna reconsider consuming dairy and buy some plant alternatives instead. Even Arnold switched from cow milk to plant-based. And we can't argue with a 7 times Mr. Olympia about nutrition, can we? Second, allergies. Obviously, there are people allergic to soy, and if that's also your case, I wouldn't recommend drinking it. For example, although I like the taste, I am allergic to soy milk, or at least some ingredients in it. So this wasn't soy milk, it's actually made from rice. But this brings me to the third factor, Ingredients. There is soy milk and there is soy milk. If you go to the store, you will most likely find different brands using different ingredients to make the same product. What you really only need to make soy milk is soybeans, water and maybe a pinch of salt. You blend the beans with the water, strain it and boil it. Then you take away the foam that formed and ta-da, it's ready. <laughs> But some brands want their stuff to look and feel fancy, so they add a whole lot of thickeners and stabilizers like locust bean gum, gel and gum and carrageenan, which some studies suggest might have some inflammatory properties. So brands are turning away from carrageenan and are embracing the other substances. My advice for consuming any plant-based milk in general would be just to check the ingredients because overall these milks are considered healthy. Of course, cow milk is much more nutritious, but that's also why some brands instead or together with the thickeners and other agents add vitamins and minerals to make their drinks richer on the nutrition side. Well, even with with all these additives, plant-based alternatives tends to be nutritionally inferior to cow milk. On the other hand, you aren't getting both loads of estrogen with your Cheerios. There are some more controversies about soy milk, like soy milk promoting cancer development or something, but those can be easily brushed off by looking at the Asian, mainly Japanese and Chinese populations. They gobble soy every day and have one of the highest life expectancies in the world. Also, I would like to add that no scientific research is definite. There are way too many variables and way too much business interest in the world for any single paper to be 100% accurate. The best thing you can do is to think for yourself and talk to your dog from time to time. And with that being said, thanks for watching.